All right, guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. I'm in the airport with all these ugly mugs. It's the hashtag squad. We're going for our first ever proper away day. We're going overseas or oversea. We're going to Northern Ireland. The chairman's taking us to America soon. We talked about this after we won the Palmer's game. We need a bit of a warm up match though. First ever game overseas. Build the brand. See how we get on against the Northern Ireland FA11 made up of people who have been released from academies. Rich Beck is confident, aren't you, Rich? Oh, of course, always. But not a role model. Uh, <laughs> Ryan Adams. Yeah, exciting. It's gonna be good. First away, first away trip. Let's have some fun. Exactly. All right, we're gonna get in the aeroplane now, and we're gonna go get them in Northern Ireland. Let's do it. We've been having a debate today about whether Northern Ireland counts as overseas, because um, it's still part of the UK. Obviously, you don't actually need your passport. I bought mine just in case, but it's like literally going to Manchester technically, because it's part of the same country. But you are going over a sea, so I think it counts as an away day trip. It's a good warm up. We've got a few more planned as well. And obviously we've got a big trip to America coming up. We want to start winning. If we go to Ireland and we lose, Chairman, I'm not going to like it. Jacko, what are you thinking about Northern Ireland? Have you been there before? No. Okay, have you been to Republic of Ireland? Uh, no. Oh wow, I've never been to either Ireland either, so. No, to be fair, I've only just got a passport because I haven't been out of the country for quite some time. That explains a lot, that explains a lot. Are you hoping for a clean sheet? Yes, of course. You haven't, had a, you haven't had a clean sheet yet, hashtag. I haven't. I haven't. It's only three games. True. To be fair, I think I've played quite well and been let down by the bulk of the squad. So. Biggles Wade, robbed of a man of the match performance by Dan Brown, Dan of course. It's been well documented. It's a bit of taste in my ears. <laughs> <It's> celebrating. <laughs> He's, he's tormenting me on purpose, week in, week out. I don't like the man, I've made no uh, secret about it. <laughs> Stevie, have you been to Northern Ireland before? Never. Wow, Basil? Yes. Right, there's one man who might have. Adam, have you been to Northern Ireland before? I have. Oh, Seb's been. I've been to this airport. We're just wondering if everyone's ever been there before. Some phenomenal golf courses around the uh, Belfast area. We're all counting down. Paul Rush, personal best 66, gross of Paul Rush. Thanks uh, for asking. Boring me now. Decent. Tell me about the football. <laughs> football, I've not seen much of the football, but I've heard the stadium we're playing at is decent. Okay, good or cheap. Faisal, if you, if you want to, you know, Think about the quality of football. We're going to a place called George Best Airport. Yeah. Okay, so we know they can play the game over there. So, what are we expecting? Um, I wouldn't judge um, a country in this airport in terms of football. I think that's a little bit too far. Well, it's named after a famous footballer, though, isn't it? We've got Stan Stead, we've got others. Stan Stead, great left back, of course. Yeah, Luton. <laughs> yeah, Luton, big centre back. Great guy. Solid. Yeah, true. Finally taking off. A bit late, aren't we? A little bit. Hopefully, yeah, 35 minutes late. Well, we've got a 10 p.m. curfew tonight, so. Um, uh, Jack, you looking forward to 10 p.m. curfew? Yeah, um, yeah. Well, I'm rooming with Seb, so we Seb will go and do a scout in the area to make sure that no one else is out. Yeah, of course you will. He scores one goal and he thinks he's bloody running the show. Try and find them. And we've landed. In fact, there is a wild Stevie CB. There he is. We're in Belfast. Some of the boys. LP, Sony Dundee. Right, we just arrived in George Best. Airport, very very good football, and probably the biggest known export of Northern Ireland, probably until Johnny Evans, right? And now we're taking on Northern Irish FA 11, or tomorrow. We've got a day to chill out, to be fair, see what Northern Ireland's got to offer. The weather looks average. I'm not going to lie to you, but we'll see what we can get up to. Really, we've got all the boys here, all the boys in blue, and we're going to get a little cheeky uh, taxi to the hotel. I think that's the plan, sir. That's the plan, mate. Taxi time. Lovely, lovely. Uh, in the car, got a little convoy going on. I've got four cars worth of uh, people going towards the next destination. <laughs> Driver's wearing the right colours, by the way. Let's give him a round of applause for that one on driver. Man's dog. We're in Northern Ireland. The mad dog. This is Northern Ireland. Doesn't look anything like England. Oh, wait, it looks exactly the same. <laughs> But we just landed in England. We're only about 40 minutes away from the Game of Thrones set, apparently. Game of Thrones set, 40 minutes away. Oh, lovely. Shall we? Lovely, yeah. Hey, boys, he was one of the greatest roasters on YouTube. The bunch of dollars. Me and Sammy Ecop just checked into our room. All the boys have been given uh, rooms they're sharing. This is our little crib. Cheeky. 
chance for us to bond, Sam. I was gonna say, top and tail is all we just spoke. <laughs> Here we go, right, we're gonna get settled in, drop our bags off, then we're gonna film some videos for the Hashtag United channel, then oh, we're gonna get some lunch before we do that, actually, and then after that, it's up to us what we get up to, really. We can go get some food for dinner, and see what Belfast has got to offer, should be decent. Nando's are in, got to get those pre-match carbs in. Tomorrow is the big game. Crew as well, the crew have to make sure they're, they're ready for action as well. Need the carbs boys, need the carbs. Loads of us in, absolutely dominating the uh, Belfast Nando's here. What are you going for Richie? Double chicken wrap mate, a little bit of cheese. A little bit of chips. Lovely. I've gone for half chicken, medium, sweet potato mash, and some char grilled veg. Thanks for asking. Boys just getting set up in the conference suite, about to do some hashtag United interviews, asking questions such as who's the funniest player? Who has the best dress sense? Uh, obviously, the answer to both of them is me. Um, or is it? Probably not, to be fair. Rich Beck's just done his interview. How did it go? Yeah, good, I think. Alright, maybe. See if the players still like you after they hear your answers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> next, I think, is... Uh, who's next on the list? Sam. Sam Adams, next. Send him in. Behind the scenes. What's your... Sam Adams about to get interviewed. Wait till he hears some of the stuff Rich Beck just said about him. Unbelievable. Well, thanks for pre-warning me so I can do it. <laughs> or have I? Am I just stirring it up? Maybe he didn't say anything about you. Yeah. <laughs> you never know. you just got to follow your heart, Sam. Say what's in your heart. Mine can you leave the room, please? Yeah, I'm going to go. Don't worry. <laughs> Like that. <laughs> I bring them for the whole interview. Yeah. <laughs> right, guys, just finished with my interview. Some of the other lads are getting interviewed now. I wanted to leave them to it so their answers can be, you know, uninfluenced. And now, me, I think Ecot and Love It are going to go to the hotel gym. Hotel gym's actually decent here, to be fair. And uh, then we've got some food coming up later, a few drinks, 10 p.m. curfew. We want the boys, you know, proper night sleep because we've got a big game tomorrow, midday kickoff at the Crusaders Stadium. I think it's called Sea View. It's a 3G stadium, so we see uh, interesting to see how we get on with it. Obviously, we're used to a 3G stadium in North London, but obviously this is away from home. I think there might be a little crowd. I'm not sure if they're letting people come to the games or not. We're the awaiting for this one, but. Should be interesting. Okay, we finished, we had a little workout, um, went for a swim, went for a sauna, went for a steam room. Feel like quite tired now, to be honest. And uh, the Nando's is still in my stomach, but we've got a bit of time. I think we're gonna watch Chelsea versus, or Leicester versus Chelsea. And then we're gonna get some more food. And then we're gonna see where the night takes us. Mad cow ran into the fishing net. Can I have one of those, please. More food. With the gang. Feel, feel, feel. Tabanyaki. Yeah. So, what are you going for? I don't know. It's either tabanyaki or. Wait, honey pepper shredded chicken. Honey pepper shredded chicken, Lou. Is that a bit of you, is it? It's a bit of me, mate. Yeah, fair play. And they just pop out and wrap it around the ground. Like strings and strings. And then you don't shoot it up like a loose stuff. Breakfast time, the calm before the storm, crew over there, Robbie, Saundi, there he is in focus, here's the new signing, Theo Baker. I'm hoping no one stayed out too late last night and got a little bit too jolly because it could have repercussions today, a big game. I was up to half twelve watching suits. He had a big night. See the thing about today's game is, don't know what to expect because they're called Team NI, right? Supposed to have some players from academies that have been released. So they're gonna be decent. They're gonna be it can be a bit like the New Haven game, I think. Young, talented team. Maybe maybe at a higher level, with all due respect to New Haven, because these guys are all ex Academy. What do you think, Sam? I'm not sure, same as you said, but I think it's gonna be some talent. Um I think they're going to be quick. Yeah. That's what I'm worried about. I think they're going to be really quick. It just depends if they played together before. Yeah, exactly. A lot of un unknowns. It makes a big difference, that, because that's where we sort of come to our own. We're not necessarily the best team on paper, but together, I think we're greater... 
Due to me, we're greater than the sum of our parts, as they say. We need to keep that going, play our game. It's always winnable. If it is a little bit of that sort of, you know, younger against older, we've got to use that to our advantage. We've got to let them know they're in a game. Right, we're in the cab on the way to the game. We've got the lovebirds, Dan Brown and Jacko, together in the back. We love it, of course. <laughs> we've got me, we've got Man's Dog, we've got LP. The rest of the boys are uh, on their way. Are we up for it today, boys? We're up for yeah. it. Come on, Come on. Hashtag. Let's do it. Big game, big game. It's a stadium. It's why I like these stadiums, they're literally right on the back of houses. Here we go. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Here we are. Crusaders FC is our home for the next few hours. They're top of the league. Let's make ourselves top of the league, boys. Come on. Full size, 3G pitch, but obviously with a stadium around it. So it's a nice touch. It's kind of what I dream for for the future of Hashtag, to be honest with you guys. This is where we're going to be playing. Obviously, we're used to 3G. We've done a little bit of that ourselves. Nice little stand there. It's decent. It's decent, lads. We you think of the service? Uh, the service, the yeah, surface. Um, Non-rubberized, looks very efficient. Good. Good efficiency rating from Stevie CB out of five. What do you give it? Uh, at the moment, until tested, I'll give it a three. Wow, hard. Ryan Adams, how you feel about this? this how you feel about this surface? Uh, buzzing. Absolutely lovely, lovely surface. Going to get some nice balls through, hopefully. So yeah, looking forward to it. What are you listening to right now? Oh, I've just got my uh, my pre-game playlist on, and at the moment I've got a uh, bit of disclosure. You and me, Flume remix. Get lovely. pumped. It's lovely. Right. <laughs> All right, guys, game is over. We're now in the club. Villian, we've had some food. We're going to watch Man United versus Liverpool in a bit. Just seen a little bit of the Everton City game. Um, I won't tell you what happened in the game because I want you to watch the match on my channel. But um, it's been a very good trip. Very enjoyable. Well, big shout out to uh, JD Club NI for sorting us out with some food. Just had some lovely Irish broth and uh, oh, some delicious desserts as well. Top notch. You can tell my voice has gone. It was one of those games, lots of shouting, physical game from both sides. I've got a horrible little gash on my inner thigh. I've got absolutely sliced up, but it's all in the game. It's all in the game. I enjoyed it. Let's have a look at Paul Nash and John Dawson. Uh, mate. Had a good time? Good game? Yeah, good. Yeah. Tough. Now, trip. Give it a what, Man United fan, what are your predictions for this game coming up now? I mean, I'd like to think that we dominate the game 3 1. 3 1. On goals, on drums. We haven't got a Liverpool fan, have we? Thank God. <laughs> so, 1 all between Man United and Liverpool, and now it's time to go home. It's been fun, Ireland. It's been fun. Thanks for having us. Lovely little clubhouse here at Sea View. Crusaders, their, their stage in the top of the league at the moment, doing all right. Got the Crusaders darts team down there. Decent team. Hashtag drinking tea. Jacko wants to get in again. <laughs> Have a nice. Why is Lewis Preston doing a John Terry moment? He did not play for us today and he's wearing his hashtag shirt in the airport. He did not play in the game. That is hashtag embarrassing, mate. Look at him. John Terry in disguise. Just on the flight home, on the toilet. See you in England. Right guys, I'm back home now after a fantastic couple of days in Northern Ireland. Shout out to everyone at uh, JD Club NI who are our opponents in Belfast. Um, fantastic, really was great. So many people turned up to the game as well, by the way. We had like four or five hundred people there. We didn't even advertise that we were playing there until an hour before the game. I just put something on Twitter. It was actually crazy. We had a, a, a pitch invasion at the end. All that stuff and of course the match and all the highlights you can look forward to seeing on my channel, youtube.com forward slash SpencerFC. Uh, pretty soon it will be up. Uh, but hopefully you've enjoyed this little teaser showing you guys what we've got up to off the pitch. And we're hopefully going to do more stuff like this in the future. We've obviously got a big trip to America coming up. Um, maybe some other trips to some other countries as well. As well as some big games in England of course. So everything's looking good for Hashtag United. Drop a like on this video if you've enjoyed this behind the scenes vlog. Never really done one of these before on a Hashtag Games. So hopefully you have uh, enjoyed it. And subscribe to the Hashtag United channel for more. Until next time, I'll see you when you're older. Don't forget to Hashtag it. Bye bye.